in order to try and help uh, the Navy understand the utility of, uh, of autonomy, uh, the MAST 13 vessel that uh, L3 Harris has developed for DSTL is very much uh, a part of that process. So that, that's been uh, brought online as a research and development, development platform to enable uh, industry and navies uh, and, and, and DSTL to understand where autonomy can go, uh, what sensors can be of benefit to not only uh, the autonomous system itself but uh, as part of mission planning and mission delivery uh, and, and it helps to enable to develop the, the frameworks required to be able to uh, say, safely and successfully uh, bring autonomous systems into frontline use. Where these systems will start delivering for the Navy is to give that uh, additional reach to identification, surveillance and reconnaissance of an area. So all the missions that we are traditionally involved in at the moment, whether they be counter piracy, uh, counter smuggling, counter narcotics operations, counter terrorism operations, uh, to be able to extend the reach uh, of the, the host platform uh, will give the commander uh, more situational awareness, more time to react uh, and be able to take appropriate action to whatever the contact is that, that the sensors are telling him. We're going to start seeing these vessels on the front line with the Royal Navy very soon uh, and programs such as Navy X that, uh, that the Navy have started this year are really trying to accelerate uh, the introduction of these systems for their frontline units. Once these platforms and these systems uh, get utilised by frontline navies, uh, the uh, the growth of where these systems can be brought into is going to be exponential and uh, their utility will start spreading throughout from just maybe uh, autonomous platforms on deployed, platform, uh, deployed units to actually doing full missions and operations themselves.